admit I'm trying not to cry. Um, I didn't know this was happening, so it's uh, extremely special to me. Um, you know, like like was was already said. You know, racing in South Carolina in the in the South Carolina Dirt Series and winning you know those seven state championships here, and then moving on to actually this car, uh, this scheme uh, to run my rookie year at Tri County Speedway, and uh, went on to on the pole 10 times and won 11 races that first year. I remember all of them like it was yesterday. Um, you know, I had a lot of great opportunities racing in the, in the grassroots of, of NASCAR and everything involved in that. And, um, you know, it's, it's all went by, you know, like a whirlwind for me. Um, it's interesting, the governor brought up the 2003 race. That was my first year in the Cup Series. Uh, my first year working on a Cup car and we were, I was on the 77 car running third uh, when Kurt and Ricky started banging doors, you know, with about three laps to go. And I was praying that they were gonna wreck each other and we were gonna win, but we ended up finishing third that day. Uh, but, um, you know, it's been a, it's been a great place. Uh, Darlington has meant so much to me. Uh, honestly, as a race fan, you know, I was, I was on the, the couch on Sundays watching the cup races hoping that I would be there one day and, and now I have three Darlington trophies sitting at home that, that mean an awful lot to me and my family. So uh, just a special place. Can't wait to get back there and, and to race. Um, and obviously this scheme means the world to me. Grassroots was announced as the thing. What went through your mind, first of all? I figured there'd be a lot of late model schemes. Uh, I didn't really picture one of them in mind, but um, I, I kind of assumed that ours would look, you know, like Josh's uh, year when he won the national championship and the, and the weekly racing series. Um, I thought that's what we were going to see when we pulled that cover off. Um, you know, to see my old car was, was a shock to me. Is all I could do not to cry. But um, you know, this scheme meant a ton to me. That was my first year full time late model stock racing. Um, it was it was a crazy year. We showed up at the first race of the year at Tri County and sat on the pole and led every lap. And everybody's like, "Who is this kid? We've never seen him before." Um, and it was just an awesome year. Like I said, we we. Won 11 races that year and that ended up propelling me. I only ran this scheme one year and, and uh, got an offered to go off road, Slim Jim off road racing and the NASCAR side of things and traveled the whole East Coast the next year. And um, so, you know, just a, a special day for me to see this thing and to, to be able to race it at Darlington is, is going to be extremely special. You know, probably my biggest win, I think, maybe. I, I'm not 100% sure, but, um, you know, probably the fall brawl at, at uh, uh, with this car actually um, at Hickory Motor Speedway in 98. There was about 80 cars that showed up and me and Shane Huffman battled for a little bit and then I got by him and led the whole rest of the way and um, it was a big race. It was 10,000 to win and then we went the next week and almost won the beach and ended up wrecking it out with Philip Morris with about five or ten to go and then went the next week and led every lap till ten to go and wrecked out of it with Philip Morris too. So. Um, you know, it was, this was a, you know, this scheme was one of the best cars I ever drove. Um, it was an old car that the uh, old school racer Greg Marlowe owned, and we bought it from him, and it was just fast everywhere we took it. Thing on the throwback here with your 54 car back in the day, on the hood of the 4 car, Greenville Pickens Speedway. Now that's got to really hit you in the heart. <laughs> it does. Um, and I, I honestly didn't know until recently. I saw some pictures and some things going around on Twitter about what was going on down there. And, you know, us old school racers, we want to do everything we can do to save these places and to keep them going. And, um, you know, losing Myrtle Beach Speedway was a, a gut punch for me. It was my favorite place to race. And uh, Greenville was, was a good one too. I raced a few late mile stock races there, but probably on the bigger side of things we had the Slim Jim off road races there we had the Hooters car uh, broke up races there so I raced there a good bit and um, never won a race there um, that was one of the places that was it was a hard place to get around um, it really was and um, there were some people that were really really good there and you would you would show up and you just knew you didn't have a chance of winning if they were there but um, just an awesome place to see those names
things on that hood of, of people that come through Greenville Pickens and what it meant to them, and honestly, what it ultimately means to our sport is, is really important. The first mention the grassroots thing, what's the first thing that came to your mind? Well, I think that it was cool, right? Like, you think back to iconic paint schemes that you raced against and race, you know, I, I think for me, throwback is kind of unique. Like, I, I feel like it's a great opportunity to, to incorporate your partners and do something fun and special, you know, whether it's for, you know, in years we did, we did a number of uh, Dale's paint schemes that were really popular over the years. And even um, in the late model car, we had a couple throwbacks that, that we did. We did one with Kelly and I love you. And we've done a lot of fun things like that. Like, I'm not one to throw back to myself. Um, I don't I don't think I'm there yet. Maybe one day if there's another grassroots one, maybe one will throw it back to one of my late models. But to me, it's just about um, using the opportunity to make it special for your partners and Harrison's and, and like I said, thankful to them for being a part of this and being willing to change up their paint scheme and their branding and their colors a little bit to just be a part of this, which really meant a lot to us and made it possible. And then obviously to, to incorporate Rodney and his success at the grassroots level, I think is just, um, it just makes it really fun, right? And that, I think for us, it's going to be a special, special weekend for him. And, and most of all, hopefully we have a good day. Coming up, what was your plan?